Hi everyone and welcome back to Radical Lifestyle. As you can see, we're still continuing our tour of Expo 2020. Although Expo 2020 has come to an end, I'm still trying to bring you guys all of the pavilions that you guys might have missed or just want to see once more. So in this video, I'm going to show you Qatar, Kuwait, Uruguay, Panama, Argentina and Malaysia. So sit back and relax and let's head straight into the video. First up, we're heading to Qatar. As you can see, the pavilion's exterior is very simplistic, minimalistic and crisp. The interior is just the same. Right as we walk in, we see two pictures of the rulers of Qatar. As we keep walking around, we see small miniature models of things that are common around Qatar. The next area of the pavilion is full of video depictions of activities and places around Qatar. Well, this about wraps up the Qatar Pavilion. Like I said, it's very small and minimalistic. Now let's head on over to the next pavilion, which is Kuwait. Right as we walk in, we see a huge structure, which we can't quite figure out what it actually is. And all around the structure, we see projections of blue waves, which I think are supposed to represent the water. projections quickly turned into videos of famous places around Kuwait. Seeing these video depictions brought back memories of me and my family's time of living in Kuwait, including this Kuwait Towers, which is actually a revolving restaurant. As we walk upstairs to the next section, we see a nice panoramic view of the Cornish area in Kuwait City. On the next level, we walk into a motion-activated projection. As we keep walking, we see a timeline of how Kuwait City has developed over the years. In 
then we walk into a museum section where we see old artifacts that were found in and around Kuwait. Remember that blue structure we saw downstairs? Well now we're at the top part of it and you can see that it's surrounded with blue lights. In this section there are multiple kiosks located all around this blue structure. In each of these kiosks we can make a pledge to promote a sustainable future. And at the end, once we make our selection, it gets displayed on the lights. Now we're walking through the blue structure to get to the next section. As we come out on the other side, we see various models of animals that are found in Kuwait. As we keep walking around, there are more video displays of the nature and animals that are found all around Kuwait. Here is a special light room. Each of these green and yellow lights are actually images of these animals and species on this wall. In order to see these images, you need to place your hand under the lights and then it focuses into the animal. After we had fun with the lights, we walk over to the next section, which is an audio treat. When you place your ears over these white columns, you hear a sound made by one of the traditional instruments from Kuwait. So that brings us to the end of the inside tour of the pavilion. Next, we're moving on to the rooftop coffee lounge. One of the highlights of this coffee bar is the view. You can see a nice panoramic view of the expo site from here. After we take in the view, we head on to the next set of pavilions, which is Uruguay, Panama, and Argentina. In Uruguay, I got to try my luck at some football or soccer. In Argentina, we took in some of the local music that was offered to us.
in Panama, we tried our hand at some virtual reality. Since all three were relatively smaller pavilions, it didn't take us much time to cover them. Our final stop for today is Malaysia. As you can see, the theme of Malaysia is greenery and the rainforest. It should be amazing to see how they've kept all these plants green in the middle of the desert. Once inside, we are getting ready to watch the first show. As you can see, Malaysia sticks to its theme of the rainforest. This was a nice reprieve from the hot sun outside. Now let's catch a little bit of the show. <laughs> This is a bold contribution by a young nature to halt biodiversity loss and reverse global warming to the biggest environmental challenges of humankind. While it pursues, like every other nation, a better life for its people. How did we realize this vision? We set aside some forests as totally protected areas. And we adopted sustainable logging practices. Sustainable forest management practices, trees are filmed with 30 year rotational harvesting cycle. Logging is done in a careful manner to reduce damage on surrounding trees, vegetation, and rivers. The other trees are left to grow as the forest generates. Decisions on harvesting quota are made. The show was done, we walked up to the next floor and we got to play with this light structure where you could change the light according to however we feel like. After we played with the lights, then we walk into the next section, which is a video in a very unique looking screen. special video will bring us to the end of our episode i hope you all enjoyed this episode and if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video